Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to uh, do a really quick full review on the Cherry Blooms uh, eyelash extensions. I did mention to you guys in a previous video that I would be doing a full demonstration review on them. Uh, the last video that I did on them where I actually did a demo, I called them Cherry Blossom uh, lash extensions which I misread the packaging and I've had these for a while so I don't know how I misread that. Even on the website I misread it. So I just wanted to correct that and put up a full demo video of me using these. I don't have makeup on in the demo on purpose because I really wanted you guys to see how these uh, lash extensions work. I wanted you to get like a real view because I feel like when you have makeup on you can't truly see like how well they work and with my eyes at least because I've tried to do it with makeup and it kind of takes away from the lashes because my lashes are so small and they're very short and my eyes with the shape of my eye, they really don't stand out. Right now I'm wearing um, actually a strip lash. I'm not wearing the lash extensions, but I just wanted to do a really quick review on them. So I just wanted to talk really quickly about them. These are the Cherry Blooms Australia Lash Extensions. So basically it has a transplanting mascara gel, and then it has a natural fiber uh, container as well that you would just kind of wipe on your lashes. This is what the packaging looks like inside all comes with like the two mascara well one's a mascara Oop. <laughs> one's a mascara and one is the fiber so it's really a gel it's like a black gel and you just put it on I have been using it so it is a little dirty so don't mind that but this is what it looks like it looks like a typical mascara um, and then you would just put it on your lashes and then after you apply it you're going to apply the fiber and these are what the little fiber hairs look like. And I don't know if you can see them like on the thing right there, but they're on here. The fibers, uh, I feel like for me, they make my eyes itch a little bit. I don't know if anyone else has ever had this problem when applying lash extensions, but when I put the gel on first, on my lower lash it itches. It doesn't itch on the top lash, it's just the lower lash. When I put the gel on, you have to be quick about it, I've noticed, because if you let it sit for too long, it's gonna dry up, and then it won't, the, the fiber won't like take to the gel. So just make sure when you're applying them that um, you apply this first, and then apply the fiber, but make sure that the fiber is applied within the first, maybe, 20 30 seconds of applying it because I feel like after like a minute goes by it starts to dry up a little bit And it doesn't really take to the gel the way that it should so just be mindful of time when you're applying the gel I did take a separate lash brush that doesn't have any product on it And I just separated my lashes first which you're gonna see in the video And then after that I applied the gel and then I went in with the fiber while doing this I noticed that I needed to kind of speed up the process in order for the fiber to really take to the gel. Another thing that I noticed is I had to do at least two coats just to get my lashes the length that I would want them. For me, truthfully, this does work. It does give you longer lashes. It does its job. But for me, because my lashes are so short, I would still have to do a strip lash over because it just doesn't give me the look that I would be going for. But it does work. So for those of you that kind of already have a decent length of lash and you just kind of want to thicken it or make it a little bit longer, it definitely will do that for you. It will give you the length and the thickness or volume that you would want on your lashes. For me, it did that, but it didn't make them as as long as I would like them. I like full on, as you guys can see, like really long lashes that just completely stand out. Um, so I would have to go in and just do a little bit more work. I did the basics for you guys in this video so you would see the, just how they work and what to do. So um, remember, the first thing you do is you just apply the gel, then you go in with the fiber, and you pretty much just let it dry. If you want to do another coat, that's totally fine. The one thing that I will say about these, if you do it too much, you will get spider lashes. And I'm not a fan of spider lashes on myself. I do like them on some girls because it looks right on some people. But for me, I'm not really a fan of the spider lash look, meaning it'll just look cakey and thick on your lashes. And I don't like that look. I kind of like my lashes to look flowy. So I tend to stay away from doing too many coats when using this. Um, this would be something that I would use on a no makeup day and I just want to have lash volume. I would not wear this with makeup for myself because 
when I have makeup, when I do a full face, I just like to have lashes. That's really the only reason why. It's no reason. There's nothing wrong with the product. It's just me, myself. I would prefer to have really thick, long lashes when I do a full face of makeup. So I would rock this on a bare face day or with just a little bit of uh, foundation or cover up. So I just wanted to give you guys a really quick review on the product because I do like it. It is something that comes in handy when I don't want to wear too much makeup. So... I do like it. It definitely does lengthen your lash. So if you're looking for something to give you lash volume, this is the product you might want to check out. Also, I do use it on my bottom lash when wearing a full face of makeup because it does give me bottom lashes, which I showed you in the last video. I'll, if I still have that footage, I, I delete my footage a lot. So if I still have it, I will include it in this video with makeup on so you can see how it gives me a nice under lash um, look. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it really quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them I will put the website link underneath this video so you can refer to them if you want to order them or anything I don't have a coupon code for you guys or anything um, so sorry about that but if you're interested in the product it's definitely worth it so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye Alright guys, so to start off, I'm just going to separate my lashes with a clean lash brush. This has no product on it. Then I'm going to go in with the gel from the kit, and I'm going to apply it from root to tip generously so that when I go to apply my fiber, it does stick and make my lashes a little bit longer. So here I'm applying the fiber, and I'm just going to keep applying that from root to tip until, basically until I want to stop. And I'm going to let that dry and then go in with a little bit more gel from the tips and as you can see it's creating a little bit more length there and that's basically what I wanted to do so then I'm going to go in on the other eye and do the same thing and then I'm going to start applying the fiber on the tips and this is just going to create more length and then I'm going to go in underneath on the bottom lash line and just basically repeat the same process and as you guys can see it's starting to look a little spidery so I only like to put two coats if I do any more then I won't like it so underneath I'm just applying the fiber and this is the final look this is how it looks once it's done I do like them again I would wear no makeup with this type of look thank you guys for watching please check out cherryblooms.com and I will talk to you guys in my next video